going to make a short video about a couple I.O. functions that I probably should have already made a video about, f puts and f gets. So these are file I.O. Um, it's kind of like uh, printing, it's kind of like f put, well, f puts has an obvious similarity to, to the command puts, which you probably are already familiar with. Puts stands for a put string, and this this is file put string. So it takes a string to put as input, and it also takes a, a file pointer, unlike regular puts. So regular puts uh, is the same thing as uh, file puts, where the second parameter is standard out. So those mean the same thing. Um, but the, uh, the second parameter doesn't have to be standard out. It can be any, any file pointer. So here I'm using the fopen command, which is a relatively complicated command. Here is the, um, the description of its parameters and its input and output conditions and its return value and stuff like that, which you might want to read. But I'm just going to give basic examples of uh, reading, writing, and appending. So this uh, is, a, is a pointer to a file struct. The file struct is defined in uh, standard.o.h. So I, I open a file uh, for writing. It doesn't need to exist beforehand. It's going to create, if it doesn't already exist, a file called some text dot text. And what I'm going to do is just put this one string into that file. And I'm going to do it by using f puts in the file pointer. So without further ado, um, this is f getter dot c. Uh, so it does it has absolutely no output. But if now you look at the most recently created file, you see that there is something called some text dot text. And let's see what's in there. Uh, oops. So here's some text for you. So exactly um, the stuff that we put out showed up showed up here. So very very useful. Just basic file output. Um, let's look at this second guy. So this one is a little bit more involved. So maybe I'll run this and then I will go through and explain how it's doing what it does. So this one is this one is called fgetter2.c. And let's run it. So it says, let's commemorate your birthday by storing it in a file. What's your name? And let's say that my name is uh, Artichoke. And what's my birthday? Uh, March 15th. OK. So it says that it wrote my name and birthday to this file. And if I look at the contents of that file, it's got uh, several names and birthdays because I've been running this several times. And uh, so Crawford and Junior were already in there. It didn't over, it didn't overwrite that stuff. It just uh, appended the new information to it, and that's because it did f open with the append option. Uh, you could probably hear my wife sneezing upstairs. So here is the, um, oh, and I just defined this. I wrote the file name in just one place so I could easily change it. So what's your birth? This is just the uh, prompt to the user. Now here's something new: f gets. So f gets is uh, sort of the inverse of f puts. You get a string, and this is the uh, file pointer for the input stream, which uh, because the input is coming from the keyboard is standard in. And uh, it gets a string. As soon as the user hits return, the whole line that the user typed goes into this uh, string, which is a, this character buffer. So it reads at most 100 bytes, so it's a safe function. Similarly, we get the uh, birthday, which is just another string, uh, the same way from standard input. Uh, in the next file, we're going to use fgets with, uh, with a different file pointer besides standard in. Um, all right, uh, so f puts. If you read the the you know the specs, it returns a positive number if it succeeds. So here I'm just doing a little bit of silly error checking to make sure that it succeeds in writing. 
both the name and the date to the file that we've specified here. So if everything went okay, we say, all right, we wrote your name and birthday to the file. And you can see that's what actually did happen last time. But there's this possibility also in case something bizarre happens. And uh, let me run it again. I just want to put one more name in there. Um, what's your name? Arnold. What's your birthday? Um, how about November 5th? Right. So now we've got uh, quite a few birthdays in there. Now in the third file, I'm going to read in the names and the birthdays. So the file that I'm going to be working with is the same file from last time. Maybe I should just uh, run this before I go through the code. fgetter3.c all right, let's go over the names and birthdays. So the first name is Crawford. The first birthday is January 1st. That's getting read in from the file, and it's happening in this big while loop. I have a, I have a while loop because you don't know how long the file is going to be. Now, as you if you hit return again, it says the second name is Junior. The second birthday is October 31st. The third name is Artichoke. The fourth name is Arnold and it would keep going with the 5th and the 6th, etc. If, if that information was there. So let's look at the code and, and see how it works. So this variable just keeps track of whether it's the first name, second name, third name. And you can see I keep track of this little numbering thing which uh, has these eccentric special case values for the first three numbers and then afterwards becomes th for all the, the subsequent numbers. So that's basically all count keeps track of. This is uh, the, these are the character buffers or the, you know, the empty strings that are going to store the information that gets read from the file. This is that silly number suffix thing. And so, all right, so while true, so it goes forever until f gets returns a null pointer. So f gets when it fails to read any line, returns a null pointer. So what I'm doing here is I have a pointer called success, and if it turns out to be a null pointer, then I know that the file is empty, and that's when I break out of this while loop that would otherwise go forever. So this gets the name as a side effect, and now then this one, assuming everything went okay, gets the date, and uh, they get them from the specified file and then you just print out the information that was just read and this silly stuff updates st, nd, rd and all that and uh, I put a little get char in here just so it doesn't go too fast if you take that out then it would just do everything all at once so let's see that happen that might be fun yeah okay so that's a uh, easy way to do some some input and output.